Harvard seniors have one final goal, a hockey title. This is a group that constantly has risen to the occasion. Cambridge, Massachusetts. After being eliminated in the first round of last year's NCAA tournament, Harvard entered this season without Jimmy Vesey and Kyle Kreese Quolo, who had carried the team offensively the previous three seasons. The Crimson returned seven seniors, but none had scored more than 12 goals in a season. Vesey and Kreese Quolo had combined for 116 goals their last three years together. During the offseason, we knew that people would have doubts about how good we could be without them, said Devin Tringale, a Harvard co-captain. We used that as a little bit of motivation. The Crimson turned out to be pretty good without Vesey and Chris Quolo, reaching the Frozen Four, in Chicago, for the first time since 1994. Harvard, which plays Minnesota Duluth on Thursday night is on an 18-game unbeaten streak, 17-0-1, a record for the college. Advertisement The Crimson are seeking their second national championship. The first came in 1989, when Ted Donato, now the Harvard coach, was the tournament's most valuable player with five points in the two games including two goals in the victory over Minnesota in the final. This year's team, 28-5-2, ranked second in the country behind its fellow semi-finalist Denver, leads the nation in scoring with 4.1 goals per game while limiting opponents to 2.1, the largest differential among the 60 Division I teams. Backing up everything is the junior goaltender Merrick Madsen, the most outstanding player in the ACAC tournament and the East Regional. In his last four games, the 6'5 Madsen has stopped 118 of 122 shots, giving up only two even strength goals. Harvard's lone hiccup came in mid January, when it lost three games in five days. The unbeaten streak began January 20 with a 3-0 victory over Brown. While stringing together victories, the Crimson captured their first Vimpet title since 1993, claimed a share of the ACAC regular season title and won the conference tournament. This year's seniors were an unusually large class, and Donato talked to them as a group early in their freshman year telling them that all would have big roles on the team, forward Sean Malone said. That season Harvard won only 10 games, but the freshmen all played a lot of minutes. Advertisement We basically grew up together, Malone said. Early in that season, the players were introduced to Adam Larry a former Navy SEAL who had recently left active duty after 11 years. As Laurie started work on a master's degree in public administration degree at the Harvard Kennedy School of Government, a friend of the former Harvard hockey player Peter Miller contacted him about working on leadership skills with the team. Laurie, 37 who said his hockey experience consisted of five minutes of ice time, met with Donato a few weeks into the 2013-14 season, and then with the entire team. Larry talked about leadership and team building, and started with a questionnaire designed to determine players' goals on and off the ice. What he initially found, he said was that they were not united behind a common goal. He met with the team periodically, stressing accountability in themselves and one another. At Donato's urging, Larry has expanded his involvement with the team, conducting workshops, assigning readings in the off-season and involving the players in community service. When these seniors came to Harvard, the Crimson had had four losing seasons in the previous five years. Lucas Pazito, a forward, 
said his class sought to turn around the program's fortunes, believing a national championship was possible. We were fully expecting to get here, Esposito said of the Frozen Four. Harvard made the NCAA tournament in 2015 and 2016 but lost its first game each time, running its streak of first-round losses to seven in a stretch that began in 2002. Advertisement This year's team took Larry's methods to a higher level, setting goals with exacting specificity such as the amount of points the players believed necessary to win the ACAC tournament. A comprehensive list of goals for the season was listed prominently on a wall in the team's locker room, as well as in-game goals like fascia Fs1 and shots blocked. Tringale and Alexander Kerfoot, the co-captains, conducted what Larry called weekly debriefs on where the team had succeeded and where it had fallen short. Harvard's maturity and composure were evident against Yale in the ACAC quarterfinals, when the Crimson trailed entering the third period in both games but swept the series. Then, leading Air Force by 3-0 in the East Regional Final, Harvard surrendered two goals in 15 seconds midway through the game. Despite furious pressure the rest of the way, the Crimson held steady for a 3-2 victory. This is a group that constantly has risen to the occasion, Donato said. Harvard has the highest scoring senior class in the country, and its second line of Tyler Moy. Malone and Esposito has amassed 109 points, with all three players registering career highs. They have guys who are able to make plays at full speed, Air Force coach Frank Serratori said. They have some very special players in that regard. One of those players is the sophomore Ryan Donato the 56th overall pick in the 2014 NHL draft by the Boston Bruins and the coach's son. Donato plays on the top line with Kerfoot and the sophomore Louis Zerder Gossage, and was one of four Crimson players with 40 or more points this year. We've had a lot of guys make big steps since last year, playing bigger roles, Moy said. We've been wearing teams down, line after line. Larry, who while at the Kennedy School founded O2X, which specializes in performance training and education for emergency medical workers and the military, will be in Chicago. Harvard's reaching this point, he said, is no accident. They put in a ton of work to get there. Donato finishing his 12th year as coach, knows that his team's biggest challenge awaits. We have played better, we can play better, we will have to play better, he said. He added, I think we've got another level.